Target detected. New. New. Next. Next. Now. Now. New. Next. Now. Scan complete. New. Next. Now. The big trend on everybody's mind this this year and, and over the next few years, I think, is the increasing adoption of artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, capabilities. So removing the burden of repetitive, non-value-adding tasks by using uh, artificial intelligence capabilities to automate those processes. Also using artificial intelligence as a tool to help extract additional value from the data that our customers are collecting. So uh, AI is, is really great at, an, at identifying patterns that perhaps a human can't see. We're already using artificial intelligence and machine learning in a lot of our products and solutions today to, to automate tasks and to streamline workflows. We have capabilities in terms of data capture. Uh, we've got capabilities in terms of getting the data that is captured by our customers into the cloud and so we can then leverage the cloud to perform uh, analyses on data using artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques to find and extract those, those valuable insights. What is Trimble doing? What is Trimble thinking about this? The AI space is so transformational, it's so innovative right now because if you tie it back to the problems that are in the construction space right now, it goes back to too much time spent on interrogating the model, too much time spent looking for information. You want to be able to just talk to the data, right? Like verbally, or sometimes you just want to say, hey, go find me all the models that meet this criteria. But now natural language has made it so easy that you just want to have a conversation with the model, you want to have a conversation with the files, and AI has made that stupid easy. AI has huge potential to automate processes, to improve efficiency, to drive decision-making processes, and to augment the human workforce. But beyond this generic list of capabilities, I think that organizations should look how to tie AI to their unique capabilities. Because everyone will do AI. But once you identify your unique capabilities, your unique uh, value proposition, and you bring the power of AI and integrate this into those uh, capabilities, you get something which is much more difficult to duplicate, and this is your competitive advantage. I think with the rapid expansion of generative AI, it's a look back to become more predictive in the future, right? So you're using that information Massive amount of maintenance records, vegetation schedules, road maintenance schedules, bridge inspection schedules, those kind of things. You're using that information to become more prescriptive in, the, in today. So what do we do today that we can do officially today? And then as we go forward and to rebuild, it becomes more predictive on the cost side of maintaining the asset in the future. So embedding some of those technologies into our ecosystem, into our platform, into our data connections, is super helpful for them to see a quicker outcome, a predictive outcome, a prescriptive outcome that they would not have seen before. AI is a technology that's still very new to many people. I think there's a lot of hype around it right now. I think there's a lot of excitement. And we're still trying to figure out exactly how can we use it to maximize its value to our customers. And so I think of AI as, you know, spell check. If you're like me and you're a bad speller. It kind of helps me find my mistakes really early. Well, AI is really good at that, right? So when we are creating designs, right, we can have AI look at our designs to say, hey, is there a better way to do this? Or can you, instead of finding my problem, just fix the problem for me, right? So today we might have error checking, instead it could be error fixing. And that's where the confidence comes from, is, is the computer can only do so much. It requires the user to go in in a different manner than they're used to. You can have generative AI write a letter for you. I think it's a bad idea to have it write a letter and send it without reading it. We don't want AI to do all the structural engineering for a skyscraper and just build it, right? But it can assist based on knowing how we build skyscrapers and how we've done it thousands of times before to help fill in the rebar, help tell you what the best column design is. But ultimately the human has to make the final call and the final decision because the most capable machine learning models we've ever put in the field are right here. 
and that hasn't changed. I think personalization is a very, very interesting trend with respect to AI. I think what you're seeing is that um, in any onboarding experience for software, there's some generalization that has to happen. We have to make some assumptions about the end user because we don't have a perfect 360 view of who that user is, the tasks that they're looking to accomplish in the software, and the jobs that they have to get done. What we're seeing with AI is you can personalize that onboarding experience. So for example, if you're a landscape architect and you're trying to accomplish a very specific role using Trimble technology, you can interact with an assistant and rather than getting back generic information about how you may be able to use the tools or features or services that Trimble offers, uh, we can give you very specific information of how you can get that job done more quickly and more effectively. I even think of things like NASA's experimenting with uh, generative AI to build parts for spaceships. They can build things that no human would have thought of, but they're you know cheaper, lighter, stronger, whatever the parameters may be. And AI is able to create those things from a design perspective. You start to think about, hey, traditionally we build you know buildings like this or bridges like that. It unlocks this whole new opportunity of what other ways are there to build these things? How do we you know, release our minds from our traditional way of building things? Any AI can span anywhere from you know, helping us fix errors to like making recommendations on different ways to build things to actually just creating totally out of this world new designs that we would have never thought of. And I think we are just at the very beginning scratching that surface. Uh, another very interesting uh, uh, trend in the market now is explainable AI. We have a challenge with AI today with a black box approach you don't have any visibility for the decision-making process of the AI agent, meaning you don't have confidence in the decisions. And once you have an explainable AI process, this is a transparent environment, and you can understand what are the reasons behind the specific decisions. It provides the right confidence for the decision-makers and help you avoid biases and hallucinations, which is sometimes um, happening in the case of AI agents. The most important thing for me is how do you trust the results that are coming out, right? When we're talking about AI for construction, AI for the technologies that Trimble offers, if there's a hallucination, if there's something wrong uh, with that solution, we're not talking about, you know, a weirdly worded paragraph. We're talking about potential risk, potential safety issues. We're talking about tangible impact to people's lives. We take that really seriously. And I'm really proud that Trimble approaches AI uh, under the lens of how does this solve real problems? And how do we enable our customers to trust and have confidence that when they see that end output, they know the work that went into it? And I think that's the beauty of our relationship with Microsoft, is that we can rely on, on our industry partners like Microsoft who are so good at what they do in, in computing and artificial intelligence, that we can focus in on the construction element, our 40 years of experience out in the field boots in the ground, in the office, working, you know, to actually get those workflows done, that we can bring that experience combined with Microsoft's experience to deliver a more complete solution that doesn't just throw AI into technology, but rather applies the right tools to the right problems to drive real innovation that matters. The ethics of AI are obviously a very important topic. Here at Trimble, uh, we have an ethics uh, panel uh, around AI to make sure that we're following the best guidelines that we can. I'd say it is very early days um, in the AI enhancements in the, in the software space. And so we are staying on top of it, making sure that both our employees and our customers are getting access to AI that, that we believe falls into the ethics guidelines that we hold very important here.